I think that routine, that schedule, that connectivity is important. Um, you know, it doesn't matter the weather. We're going there to play hockey. So it's one of those. But to get on the road would be a first. Um, I, I We look forward to that. It's kind of a good escape. I think you actually, when you play at home, maybe you get a, a blend of game that you could be better on the road if, if you didn't try to make the extra play for the fan at home. So uh, we got we got a little bit of that. Um, very talented team in, in North Dakota. Um, depth up front. A lot of speed. They make a lot of plays. Uh, all new decor, new goaltender. Uh, we have to try to get after him and make sure we do a good job and, and stay as a group. Without giving too much away, what does the preparation look like for your team during the week as far as practice? Well, I'll hit the obvious, and that's special teams. We got, we've, we're continuing to to build and grow that. Whether it's the whether it's the right guys on the on the seats on the bus, or just getting some guys on and off, uh, both. And then there's uh, the other part. I, we just want to keep getting after goal. We want to get after goal scoring. We want to get after seconds. We want to make sure we're raising our tenacity around the net. And um, the goose egg is is a not a good look for us. And we want to make sure we continue to tend to that manner. Questions for Coach Strand. Coach, obviously there's a lot of road trips you can make in, in college hockey, but but playing at uh, at Ralph Ingolstadt Arena, um, you know, and your your first one as Division One head coach, how special is that going to be for, for you? Yeah, it's a historic building, um, obviously a historic program at the same time. Um, it's exciting. I, mean, I think we've got to find ways to leverage that for ourselves, use that excitement, um, make those boos. Um, that maybe can get loud and ferocious there. we got to quiet them down, and, and whether that's just in our mental block or maybe be on the right side of the ledger so that they don't get as loud. Um, it'll be fun for the guys. I mean, it'll be fun to go into when you get there and you see that the student section is full during warm-up. That's not every place you go to. Um, obviously, very knowledgeable hockey base, but uh, a fun atmosphere to to go into. You touched on the on the special teams a little bit. Obviously, your power play did struggle last weekend. How much of a balance is it? You know, trying to to make tweaks and and adjustments, but but also not you know trying to put any more pressure on guys. And there may already be um, just in terms of you know not wanting guys to to start gripping it or or you know trying to be maybe too cute. Yeah, it's a it is a balance. I think a lot of times when you don't score, you want to get finer and cuter and and make a bigger, better looking play instead of being maybe simple and in, in going back to some fundamentals and basics. So we've we probably put more time into that than we have, you know, a design a new scheme, et cetera. It's about execution and and getting some completion ratio out of that. Um, it, it's you know we've said this since the beginning, power plays a. A momentum builder you need to if you're not scoring you generate chances generate momentum uh, we got to make sure we stay on task with that part uh, but you want to find that balance we, we've got to practice it we can't ignore it that's not going to make it go better um, but at the same time we're not losing sleep and dwelling over it we got we got other places of our game to keep making progress in terms of of North Dakota, the film that you've seen on them, what are some some areas that stand out as as strengths uh, or things they do well? Well, their their forwards got a good skill set. They get around the rink. They make a ton of plays. Uh, we'll play we'll play bigger forward groups in this, but at the same time, I don't know all three zones. They have a ton of stick skill. They make plays. They can make them individually. They make them collectively. Um, all new decor. Um, an area that we probably have to try to see if we can't get into. And if there's a, a spot on their team that's maybe under familiar, it's, it's that part. And, but you got to get to that line of defense to get to the goaltender. He's done a, he's off to a great start. So um, I think they've got team balance with depth, with skill. Um, again, they're at a home. They, they just had a good weekend for themselves. Uh, we got to make sure we take advantage of what we can control and, and be, be sharp with our efforts and sharp with our, our discipline. What are some things about going on the road that that make that look a little bit different? Is there any sense that, you know, I've heard coaches talk in the past about sometimes there can almost be less distractions uh, 
on on the road um are you excited to to finally get a, a road trip i know you want to be at home but but is it is it nice to actually you know kind of get one finally here out of the way because you, you obviously have to do it at some point it is i i think they're two twofold the 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 road gives you a routine and a schedule that is um very encompassed by our whole group it's it's you you, you get rid of the random you get rid of the you know, mom and dad in town, you get rid of some of the things that you maybe have um, at a home series. Uh, at the same time, uh, the road challenges would be just, it's not your home. It's not your bed. It's not your hotel. There's some things that maybe get off kilter because you don't control them as much. But I'm looking forward to the idea of us getting on the bus, um, the hotel time, uh, meeting time. I, I like the, the inclusion that we're all pretty much uh, together and, and go enjoy ourselves um, as a group and, and make sure we just go keep taking care of each other where without having the sense of having the peas uh, a, a lot of a lot of the hometown last one um, Zach Kranick is a uh, someone we haven't seen in the lineup I just wonder if you had any update on on his status uh, returning from an injury yeah he's still he's still in orange Um but I can tell you he's skating more as far as uh, volume. He's, he's getting more time on it. Um, I would say he's made improvements with what he can do with restriction-wise. Um, I, I wouldn't expect him, you know, next week being a week off would be a, a big week for him to try to make some, some gains. Um, hopefully by the time conference schedule comes around, he's, he's very close. Uh, we just want to make sure that he's full – fully healthy just so he doesn't go backwards after dealing with with what he's been going through here so he's close uh at the end of the day but uh still not ready